heritage building marker. Any heritage building in Vancouver has those. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, inside, there's beautiful stained glass wood carvings and tile work. It's and all it's deco, eh? The brass elevator. Yeah, beautiful example of our deco architecture yeah. in North America. And uh, the brass really elevators were the fastest in the British Empire when it was built. Now notice this, the silver mesh boxes and the green square steel tubing here on the right, yeah. outside the Government of Canada building. Yeah. They move in time with the elevators in the lobby. Oh, when the... Oh, oh, nobody's wait. going anywhere at the moment. Well, yeah, I guess that's right, yeah, you're right. So that way government workers will know when there's an elevator coming and then they don't have to run for the elevator. <laughs> because in, in Vancouver, it's rare for government workers to run for anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And there's a better look at the Fairmont Hotel Vancouver there. So that was built for the railway. Okay. There's a number of these hotels across Canada that were built for mm -hmm. railway guests after the Transcontinental Railway was built. Mm -hmm. That's what the original Fairmont hotels were. They were railway hotels. Mm -hmm. There was the Chateau Frontenac in Quebec City, the Bant Springs Hotel in the Rockies, this one, the uh, Empress Hotel in Victoria, all examples of the old railway hotels. To this day, they carry on the, the tradition. People that take via rail, mm -hmm. usually if they're in a big travel group, they'll stay there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or with the Rocky Mountain here as well. A lot of people come to Vancouver to take the Rocky Mountain here too. So for a long time, everything is based on, I want to say tourism, but I, almost like everything is based on tourism or, or, no, or travel? No, you got the shipping industry and you got the film industry and construction's always a big deal here. Well, my tech industry is really big. Microsoft and Apple and uh, a lot of software developers have uh, offices here and Amazon. They're all kind of involved on, in Vancouver. on the television news this morning because I was trying to work out what I was watching. I think I was watching an American program, an American channel, and they were talking about Amazon doing, building housing in Seattle. Oh, okay. Amazon are putting out of their billion dollar something, something or right. other fund, yeah. they're building housing uh, for um, uh, social, like social housing in That's Amazon. That's cool. Which I thought was interesting because yeah. Amazon, it's nothing but my press as far as I can, as, as I've seen. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty nice that they're yeah. doing that. I wouldn't be surprised if they're involved in some of the uh, container developments for the homeless here. Yeah, maybe. Because I know that's a big program right now. They're building them all, all over the place. Mm -hmm. On the left, Louis Vuitton. Up ahead, we have Hermes and Coach and Mulford and Tiffany, Tiffany and Perche and all these other kind of things. Yeah. This yeah. is the high-end shopping spot here. Oh, okay. This is your Rodeo yeah. Thrive. Yeah, a little bit of a section of it, yeah. Um, up ahead is Robson Street again. Remember we mentioned over by where I picked you up is the yeah. east end of Robson by BC Place. Mm. Now, now tell, us again what, Robson. tell us again what Robson is famous for? Uh, Robson Street is known as our iconic shopping street. Oh, okay. So we're going to see the popular section now. Mm. 